welcome to oracle sql and plsql session hello everyone very good morning and good evening to all if i want to perform okay so mostly the create table statement and all we will not go for dynamic sql okay but for something like the back backup tables uh, backing up the tables and uh, deleting the backup tables from the from the, all the tables so just if you will create some dynamic sql so to build ad hoc query and update applications we will go for dynamic sql so static sql you know already static sql means we are writing sql statement so that sql statement if you are going to make okay any sql statement you are writing so this is static sql right this is static sql the sql statement will not change so it will take action when compilation if you take any plsql statement also if you are writing plsql statement action will take when takes in the compilation but dynamic sql action when application is running so that's what it will take why because so if if you are giving static sql oracle knows it already okay so oracle knows it so if you see this this is all the static statement whatever we have seen action when application is running it's a dynamic right it is add a query only it will not find okay so if you are writing any sql statement static statement only compilation it will find the value but dynamic value compilation it cannot find the sql statement also it will have all the values only while running it then you will get the actions so that is what we will call it as late binding late binding means late processing and dynamic query will go for late binding static query will go for early binding so that's what the difference is so what is it to implement dynamic sql we can go with two different way so one is execute immediate other one is dbms underscore sql see this dbms underscore sql we do not have permission here so in the real time project only we'll have we do not have so privileges to use this but we will see this execute immediate so what is execute immediate dynamic dml dynamic ddl dynamic plsql block so anything you can use okay so dml statement ddl statement anything for an example i will go here i will create one table okay so i want to create Do we have any customer table so like start from customer yes we have the table so i want to drop the table so is it possible to drop this table in any plsql block can i use begin and end drop table table name can i use no we cannot use any any ddl statement inside the plsql block okay so inside the plsql block we cannot use any ddl statement as it is so if i want to use this you have to use execute immediate okay if you want to use it you have to use keyword called execute immediate so this one you have to use so if you are going for draft table you'll be using execute immediate and if you run this within the block plsql block any block okay so within the uh, anonymous block or functions procedure anywhere if you want to use it yes it will be dropped okay it will be it will be dropped here so there is no table as of now if you go and check here there is no table customer okay say for an example i have some tables i'm just creating create table table name customer underscore backup and select start from yes underscore customer underscore sid this table i will create it one backup table okay so the same way i'm creating one more backup table okay so one more backup table here 
and I'm creating employees backup table. Just I'm creating some tables here. So employees backup. I assume that we are creating the backup table. So a lot of people will create in real time project. We are creating. So I'm creating one table called the departments. Backup from the departments table. Just I'm creating many backup tables. A lot of tables are there. If you go and check here, select star from all underscore tables. Okay, so where owner equal to this HR, right? So if you go and check this table, sorry, owner equal to this one. So many tables are there, right? So I want to check how many tables are there with backup and table underscore name like single quotes backup or so this single quotes. So there are four different tables are there. So I have to delete all the tables with backup table. How can I drop it? Can I use this way? Drop table table name. So each and every uh, single single table should I use? No, right? No need to use single single table. So you can create one PLSQL statement. Okay, so drop all the tables. Okay, so how to drop all the tables? You can go like this. So if you see this particular statement, begin and end for this is record. So just uh, I'm taking the record. You remember we have seen record here. Just uh, I'm selecting the table. Select table name okay, from the all underscore table where upper of table name like backup. So just I'm taking this. So upper of table name equating with uppercase. Even you can use HR schema uh, where owner equal to HR. Owner equal to HR. So I should not delete any other owner. That's why. Okay, so I will run it. So I will check whether I'm getting only these four tables. Yes, I'm getting only four tables. Whatever the value I'm getting, this one I'm storing into variable called record. And I'm going for the loop. Loop, execute, immediate, drop table. It's a hard-coded value. Drop table, table name. So it will go into the loop. It's like array of values. First value it will take, record dot table name, this value will be taken, drop table, table name, and it will be executed immediately. So if you go and execute, how many tables are there with backup, it will get deleted all the tables. Now, if you go and check here, none of the tables should be there. Clear? It has been dropped. Table has been dropped. That's it. So if you want to drop multiple tables at the time, a backup table or something, then you can use this way. This way you can use. This is a statement. Even if you see this, I will show you here. One more statement for dynamic SQL. Create table table name as select star from customer details. I think customer details, there is no table now. S underscore customer underscore SCD. This table I will take. With that, I'm just creating one table called test one. Okay and selecting the test one. See here, I'm just uh, selecting the table. Test one created, I'm just selecting. There's a table. So just uh, I'm dropping the table, that's it. Okay, it's a compilation. So I'm going to do the compilation here. And whatever I'm going to pass, value for this execute to the procedure, execute. Procedure name inside I'm passing the table. This particular table will get dropped automatically. Right? 
so even if you have so many tables even you can create as like a function then you can pass all the values as a parameter and everything will get dropped automatically okay so this way you can uh, this way they will the mostly like the dbs team will process like this and see here one more example i will show you create or replace procedure update dynamic customer table so i'm just passing a table name it's a varchar and column name and customer id execute immediate update table name set the column name okay so column name equal to system date where customer id equal to this one so what is the column name i'm going to pass okay so just i will select select star from customer table i should have the customer table right otherwise it will not be executed correctly the table name also you can pass no issues you can pass the table name yes underscore customer underscore sd this table you can pass no issues i'm just passing update statement here i can have this this value so what is the table name table name is this one okay table name is this one uh, there is no column like uh, data but here i will use mobile number okay i want to update the column mobile number with some other value okay so mobile okay sorry here it is taking system date right uh, we should have taken some other values here some hard coded value i will take okay just i have taken some hard coded value that's it see i should have the column called data but here then it will take system date but here i am passing this value to this or in this particular table i am passing the table name and the column name and the record which record i have to update so just uh, i am passing okay customer id is not available here right so where is this customer id here customer underscore id right okay correct so i'll compile it one more time i will execute okay it has been updated and if you go and check here so i'm not mentioning which table right so in the runtime i'm mentioning which table it will go for so as i told this execute statement you can use dml statement and ddl statement also okay both you can use it not only for ddl statement so you can use it for ddl statement dml statement plsql block okay so this one here i'm using for dml statement execute immediate dml statement dynamically i'm passing right the values are dynamically passing what is this value will pass from the runtime right so that's what i can go with so table count so i want to know the table count i want to get it so execute immediate select count of star from the table name into this one and i'm just uh, printing it if you want insert into status table a uh, stats table so here i'm i'm passing how many records are there in the table so this is the one but we need to have the stats table here okay so but we do not have access to this table so that's why we cannot insert it but if you want to take how many records are there in the count if you use this count dbms output count it will take select table name owner name all underscore table where owner equal to hr right so each and every table it should print count for all the records but the thing is we do not have this table okay it will not be used if you are going to print only count yes it will print only count only how many tables are there in the hr schema for all the tables it will go and print okay 
So this is one thing. We will go for one more statement, different statement. If you see this PLSQL block, so what is the block will do? If you see this, you can able to understand. Create or replace procedure, procedure name. Generate new table. I'm going to generate a new table. Create table statement. Create table table name. It is whatever, whatever the value I'm passing here. Column names. Okay, open bracket. Columns, data types. And using this DBMS output, right? So execute immediate. So here I'm going to pass this way. I'm just uh, compiling it. Execute immediate L string. So L string is like thing, but it's a variable. Whatever here it will be there. It will be stored here in this variable. Just that variable alone. I'm just executing. Otherwise, you can go for execute immediate. Simply may make that create table statement. So you can use without execute immediate. But thing is here it is a dynamic SQL, right? So dynamically you have to pass the values. Correct. That's why we are going for execute immediate. With string, we are getting it. So if you see this, just I'm taking the columns. Okay, so how many columns are there? So only two values we are passing. How we are passing three values. Products table ID number. Okay. Product name. Where care to quantity number. Okay, so. So I'm just going to create create table table name that is products. First one ID is number. Next one is product name where care to quantity is number. So just all this I'm just passing. And it will automatically frame this. SQL, okay, I do not have uh, create table statement here. Okay, so this, this, we do not have privileges to execute, but if you are doing it in PLSQL code, so this is the way it will be executed. Okay, instead you can go for this, uh, this way, the anonymous block, uh, you can try something like this. So try like this, it will be executed and uh, even you can try this way also. Update statement, right? But create table statement, we do not have permission. So sometimes they will pass all this as a parameter. So from the parameter file, see normally here we are giving hard coded value, right? Say for an example for this procedure, we are passing all this value as hard coded value. Here also I'm passing the value, right? This one update statement. But this will be passed from the parameter file also. Okay, parameter one, two, three, in that way it will be passed. But we will use, if they are using any PLSQL statement, execute immediate. So that is nothing but dynamic SQL. Yeah, this is one of the best example for a backup table clearance. So per statement we will use, right? So this is what you will do. So if I want to use multiple tables, I want to update. Here only you have to use pass. You have to pass more parameters. That's it. But normally, create table statement or all, we will not use any procedures like this. Create table statement will not create it. See why? Because instead of using like this, you can use directly create table statement. But this kind of backup the table deleting the backup table, all this we can do. By using dynamic SQL only, we will frame. Mostly the DBA will frame this, this kind of SQLs.